Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I want to make this very clear to uh, you um, so-called European, your old trash, whatever the fuck you are, AJ protectors. Once again, y'all half telling the truth. Once again, y'all listening to these cornball ass niggas that's just doing anything to get you guys to subscribe to their channel. Like I told you, I'm not kissing Anthony Joshua's ass. We all know the truth. And once again, like I said, uh, it's like this. Um, AJ fanboys, y'all the worst. Y'all full of shit. Y'all fake as fuck. And y'all just don't want to see the obvious. Like I keep saying, if Deontay Wilder's freezing Anthony Joshua out, hey, that's good. He did it first. Y'all do not want to tell the whole story. AJ turned down $50 million when it was presented to him. So if Deontay Wilder is putting him to the side, that's good for AJ. But let me ask you motherfucker something. I'm still waiting for somebody to explain to me why all these people keep blaming AJ. If AJ really wanted to fight, why was they booing him? Why was they booing Eddie Hearn? Because they know what's going on. Um, you AJ fans in the U.S. and across the pond or in the streets or in the sewer, you can make up all the excuses you want. We know AJ is the reason this fight didn't happen. I'm going to say this once again, 50 motherfucking million dollars that he turned down. Don't come talk about, oh, well, AJ got a date and he got a venue and all that shit. How many times did AJ send Deontay Wilder them bogus ass contracts? Once again, you motherfuckers leaving that out. Why can't you motherfuckers tell the whole truth, you fake ass AJ fans? Y'all fake as fuck, man. Okay, for real, man. Bust the ass niggas. For real. Like, I'm just keeping it 100, man. Y'all motherfuckers sitting up here making these little Deontay Wilder ducking AJ to get views and subs and shit. Y'all niggas is desperate, man. Y'all niggas whack with that shit, man. Cut the shit, man. Real talk. So let me get this straight. Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Carl Frotch. You know what I'm saying? Among others. You know, some of the UK fans that was booing AJ and Eddie Hearn. Let me get this straight. Everybody is lying on Anthony Joshua, right? You talking about, oh, well, what about with Ben Davidson? Check this out, motherfuckers. Who, whose call is it? At the end of the day, it's Tyson Fury's call. Ben Davidson can't speak for Tyson Fury. He could give his opinion, but at the end of the day, it's up to Tyson Fury. So don't get give me that shit about, oh, they should go fight. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Man, get your man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. How many times am I, I'm gonna have to keep ethering y'all and schooling y'all in this bullshit? Now all of a sudden he got a date. Let's go back to the past. When Deontay Wilder was trying to make this for, oh, Wembley Stadium isn't available in September. But then it became uh, available for Alexander Povetkin in a fight that nobody wanted to see. But I'm going to tell you something. They already going to fight Dillian White. Once again, y'all getting played. See, the reason why Anthony Joshua said, well, don't boo. I don't want to hear nothing if I fight, if, 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 if I fight Dillian White. Because he going to fight Dillian White anyway. Like I said, so all these people is lying on on Anthony Joshua. If you motherfuckers don't get the fuck out of here with that shit. Oh, well, he got a venue. Well, he got di Well, they had a venue and they had a date and they had $50 million for AJ. And he didn't take the motherfucking money after he was the one that asked for it. But y'all never bring that up, man. So keep putting together your little half ass videos. Because like I said, y'all making a fool out of y'all selves. Like I told you, I ain't never going to say no bullshit because I want a certain group of people to come to my channel, man. Fuck that shit, man. For real, man. Y'all, man, this shit is too easy, man. Shit too easy, man. Like I said, y'all calling uh motherfuckers. uh. See, that's what I mean. Y'all motherfuckers be taking this shit too far, calling somebody fangirls or shit. See, that's the type of shit that ain't cool. Because if that's the case, then y'all being AJ fanny girls, fanny packers. You know what I'm saying? Cut the shit, man. Let's keep this shit respectful, though, man. Keep this shit respectful. You can say fanboys or whatever the case, but when you start calling motherfuckers fangirls and all that shit, now you crossing the line and shit. But real talk, man, we already know whose fault it is that this fight didn't happen.
and it ain't the guy from Alabama. Like I say, now it's all now all of a sudden AJ begging quote unquote somebody to fight him when he could have made this fight. This fight could have been done with in September. But he called himself trying to free somebody out. And like I said, if he really wanted to fight Deontay Wilder, once again, why won't you motherfuckers answer this question? Why didn't he take his ass to the fight? If he really wanted that fight, why didn't he go to the fight? But he could go see Canelo fight, right? Once again, y'all won't answer that question. Now he can go walk in the ring for Dillion White, but when eight, but when when Deontay Wilder came to Europe and see him fight. Oh, he wouldn't allow Deontay Wilder in the ring. But now all of a sudden he's trying to walk up in the ring on Dill on Dillian White. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all too easy, man. I'm getting tired of wasting my time making these videos, man. Y'all AJ fans wasting my motherfucking time, man. I'm out.